this world. Changing your mindset. Society is a prototype of families. Society is as strong as its family. How strong is our family, Africa? This is a question that seeks for an urgent answer in our society today. Good to have you on another edition of your weekly TV talk show, Be This One. It's my pleasure to have you join us this week. A quick break, I'll be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back to Just Joining Us. This is Be This World. My guest today on the show is a veteran broadcaster, a journalist, Dr. Bayaru Agabi, the director of Center for Cyber Awareness and Development. Join me to make a shout for Dr. Himsey! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Thank you. All that's looking good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, that's good. Uh, uh, Dr. Yeah. Dr. this uh, Center for Cyber Awareness for Development. Okay, Center for Cyber Awareness Deve Development, mm -hmm. shortly put as SECAD. He is actually... Mm -hmm. uh, Come on, that name, SECAD. <laughs> SECAD, that is the, 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 the short form yeah. for it. He's actually dedicated. The aim and objective of that is to, um, to get people use the internet responsibly. Exactly. Rather than use it in the way they, most Nigerians are using it now. Use it to promote yourself, use it to promote your value system and your culture in a digital world. Rather than use it to condemn your leaders or condemn any other person. The internet is a platform that you can empower yourself, yeah. that you can and empower all others. others, and then so, you can also impact on the society where you live, rather than use it to condemn other people and then mutilate your leaders and see if you are the, uh, the only best in, 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 in the entire community. Yes. So, uh, does it mean there's training going on? Or? Yeah, there's also what we call the, the, the Secret Training Institute where we give skills. So uh, if you don't have the requisite skills to use the internet for the right things, you can be given skills. But what we also say is that if you already have the skills, okay, there's what we call self-regulation. You can self-regulate yourself in such a way that you know that you cannot be better than where you come from. If you say the Igbo race is bad and you are Igbo, how can you tell people that you are better than others? Exactly, yeah. You can't tell you can't come from a home and you tell people that your father and mother are bad, bad. that you are the only one that is good. They so always preaching with uh, Sekar is to say you also, we are in a digital world now. Digital is no longer part of the economy. Digital is now the economy itself. Itself, yeah. So what you should do in, in the digital realm that we have found ourselves both culture, food, dressing, and everything, ensure that what comes out of Africa, what comes out of Nigeria, is the best. Yeah, the way we project uh, yes, ourselves. Yes, yes, is the best. And ensure that you are the apostle, you know, of bringing out the best, you know, from Africa. Wow, that's yes. a good one. Yeah. I would like to... <laughs> Part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I know you will, and you will like to participate in such thing there. You're smiling. Yeah. Well, that, so brings me to what yeah. we we'll want to talk today. Okay. It's about value. Okay. It's told the same thing. Okay. The saccade. Mm. The funk. I know. The, yeah. I like the way you call it. Can you call it? Again? <laughs> it's a saccade. Saccade. <laughs> <laughs> we are a sum total of what we have yes. learned from all who have taught us. Yes. And who are those people who taught us? Like you said, our yeah. society, our society, ourselves. Yeah. Yes. Now, looking at what is happening in our society today. Mm. Would we say we've lost value or we don't have value as an Africans? I don't even know what is happening. I, I think the answer to that cannot be at the press of a button. But let's take a look at, the, at this. We have our value system, yeah. but we have refused to, uh, you know, to, to use those value systems. We have abandoned who we are. Yeah. See, let's take a look at it. You know, we now live in a virtual world where everyone is interconnected. And there's no, there's no, no name for you. You know, you can't say uh, in the new world that there's a particular way they dress, you know, in the cyberspace or there's a particular way they do things, you know, in wherever. 
But what will make you unique? What will make you different? You know, what will make you richer and better is the unique things that exist in your in your environment, yeah. and then bring it to the digital realm. I bring it into the digital world and bring it into the global arena. arena. Okay, so you can take a look at India. Look, take a look at China. They are very powerful. They are making statement. Even with the kind of product and innovation that they come up with every now and then, you know, and we see what they are doing with computers, with uh, you know, um, with, with with other things, with technologies, and, and still the rest of it, still intact. and their values are intact. Still intact. And what makes them different is because their culture, you know, their value system, is all embedded in everything that they do. Then why know, is our own different? The thing is that. Uh, I will trace into a policy system. I will trace so because I cannot blame people. It's like you're producing product and you are begging people to buy it. That means your product is just not good. Hmm. You can't beg people to come and buy your product. If your product is good, it will attract people. people. So you cannot beg Nigerians, you know, to be law abiding. You cannot beg Nigerians to be good citizens. But, but the policies just has to be good. The reason, if we go abroad, abroad, that are a governor or not, you must kill, is you know that if, if you go against the law, whether you are a governor or president, the law will apprehend you. But in Nigeria, you can drive one way if you are a brother of the president or the governor, or even a local government chairman, you know nothing will go, no, nothing can happen. Now, I like this, this example you cited. Yes. You can be producing, if you're producing a product, yes. you don't need to beg people to come and buy. Yes. Now, I like that instance yes. you cited now. Yeah. Take for instance in our society, mm. or maybe probably let's mm. take for instance in the India you mm. talked about. When you go to such places, they have options. Mm. But it appears in this part of the world, we don't have option. It's just one thing. And everybody is doing on that same level. But I, I, I think we really need to, first of all, our, mind, our mindset. Why I point at our mindset is that we can no longer or always point at the political elite because they are out of us. You and I may become a politician one day and we begin to influence certain policies and the rest of it, okay? And so our mindset must be properly put in shape, okay? We must take, you know, our destinies in our hands. So by what, by that is that I don't want to double into the political debate of restructuring or not restructuring, but the truth is that we must live our life in line with those we see are prospering, you know, are prospering. Like the US, for instance, like the UK, for instance, and even the Chinese, you know. We must borrow what is working and leave out what is not, not working. working. Now, Doctor, let me uh, take you mm. the last way around to still on what we're talking mm. about. Now, there's something that has been trending on the social media lately. Mm. It's about a um, best graduating medical doctor mm. student mm. who graduated and he was given 10,000 naira. He smiled. I like that smile on your lips. <laughs> and if you look at our society today, the entertainment world, mm. all the youth are going towards that direction. Mm. It now looks like every youth in Africa is entertainment, entertainment. Now, we, 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 we need innovate, people to go into innovation, people to be creative, people to create things. Now, it's not as if they don't have this idea. It's not as if they don't have this talent. It's not as if Nigerians, Africans, Niger Nigerians in particular, they are very brilliant people. I deal with them. I deal with so many of them. We have a lot of brilliant youths when it comes to Nigeria. But just that, there's no enabling environment for them. The easiest way to make it in this co country I live with you is entertainment. And you see everybody going in that direction. So why is it so? Is still the environment. You, you take a look at. It. I saw that that uh, you know, story you are talking about. I, I also made a statement. Now somebody comes out it to say that I must say that nobody should go into entertainment. I said no, but you should remember that even the musician, the microphone they use, somebody produced was, it. Somebody produced it. Exactly. The band and everything that they use, somebody produced mm. it. The cameras they use for their production to ensure that it is beautiful and their voice, you know, is, is well rendered and the rest of it. It is brain that put it to be. 
But the issue is that we cannot continue to cry in this manner. It, it, it reflects our value system. It reflects where we put you know, um, our values and, and the rest of it. But it is pitiable. But the, the truth is that we have to take a total look um, you know, uh, about the environment uh, uh, and how we live in, in, in this environment. How can you have a policy in place that does not encourage education, that does not encourage brilliance, that does not encourage, you know, uh, innovation? We always say all those kind of things like a, a political jamboree, kind of you know, to say we are now going into innovation and the rest of them. Please take time to ask them one day what is the meaning of innovation. Even the political elite, when they say we are, we are doing, going into innovation, technology innovation, please just ask them, sir, what is innovation? They are saying those things to get their votes to be relevant at the rest of it and all of that, you know. And they make, uh, the guy who counter what I said was making reference to America, but I told him that the best of technology is, comes from America. Okay, the best of everything that you know comes from America. So you have to balance your environment. That's it. And so it's not a question of, uh, even look, take a look at this sporting environment. If you see any sports program on TV now, they call, they say, they say, welcome to so, so, so sports, blah, blah, blah. They, what they will talk about from A to Z is football. As if boxing does not exist, javelin does not exist, you know, other sports, uh, table tennis and all of that does not exist, you know. I think we must realign our thought process so that, see, we can activate all these other areas and begin to make money and engage, you know, uh, just imagine you put 2,000 youths into a place, you say, crack codes, come up with codes that can resolve some of the issues that we have and all of that. And, but within that period, you ensure that their, their food or whatever they need is taken care of. And just just like we put footballer, footballers in camp. Put these guys in camp, camp and take care of them. Yeah. What they will come up with, I can tell you, in the next five, in five years, you know, NNPC will not be ripping it. But do you know what? The danger in this is, the danger in all of this is that in the next five, ten years, we're talking about recession now. What we are going to be face. faced with is depression. Because the truth is that the entire world is going into renewable energy. energy. That means doing away with petroleum. Even the petroleum that we have, have. we do not have the technology to even Ref take it from the soil. To refine it. Or to even process it. That is we it. still take it outside. Sell it. It is refined. Refine, and, and then it brought back to us. us. I know. I will so buy it so whatever dollar you make, you use it to pay for the technology with which you have, you, have to, you have to refine it or even sell it, all those kind of things. So the situation is pathetic, but it's not uh, unredeemable. It can be redeemable if we go back or think who we are and then see how we can protect who we are as a people. How can it actually be redeemed when you, 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 you hear people always say that Nigerians, we are good in talking. We talk a lot and we don't take actions. We know how to talk. Yes, BD is here now talking with doctors. The way it can be, the, the truth how is that, the redeemed? truth is that, the truth is that, I always tell people that by my name, you will know that I'm a unifier. So I'm neither from north, nor south, nor east, nor west. You are just a Nigerian. I'm just a Nigerian. That is by my name, by your other people. But the truth must be said. We have to push those responsibilities to the various states so that the, the people within five years, you will see that there will be competition amongst the states. Because for instance, you can you you who live in uh, for instance you you who live in Chicago cannot expect to earn as a civil servant as much as that the civil servant who work in Texas, the oil city, and you who work in Texas, the oil city, you do not expect to earn as much as the civil servant in Vegas the entertainment city of the world. 
So you earn according to what you bring in. So when that kind of competition exists, you find out that if your state is not prospering, you can walk up to the governor to say, hey, how can you drive two cars when the state is not prospering? Now, how can the state do what you've just said now? Yes. Lately, the, what the, amend, the constitution they amended, they said it's not too young to run. Mm. And you see what is flooding our social media. See, the, it's, the, like, it's, becoming, it's, it's like it's becoming a joke now. Yeah, but see, see, the, do you the, understand? The, the truth is that if you like, go and pick children of 10 years and put them there, it still will not work. We have seen younger people, you or younger, younger than you and I, running or, or maybe in office and not doing very well. The truth is what I have just told you. Okay, whether we are young, or old. See, look. Take a look at Donald Trump. How old is he? Something. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, and but he's smart. He's smart. Are, are you it, getting what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So that is ju just the truth. The real truth is that we should forget this issue of where I come from, where you come from, all those kind of. But the only way to forget it is that we we have to fashion a way, you know, to have a a kind of United States of Nigeria so to speak breaking away will not make any sense at all because if you take a look at it south sudan is not better than sudan itself eritrea is not better than ethiopia take a look at all, all of those states that broke away from their major whatever they are not better than you know where, where they broke yeah, away from. from so the crisis continue will continue but the truth is that we can all live together that in, you know, in, as one big nation, but the truth is that we Maybe have to fashion a way, where, wherever it is, decentralize the, the power, power. You know, yeah. so that the, this fight, you know, can go to the states. My name is Ayodele Kanegi. I am the CEO of Sparkostar Group. Sparkostar is a brand that is into ICT hardware solutions. However, Sparkostar has um, developed a brand uh, for a product that is called Tracit. Tracit is a special tracking device that helps you to call your, your keys. Your car keys, any kind of key, Tracit helps you to call it. Whenever you, you and I will agree that sometimes you misplace your, your keys and you feel like calling it. So Trace It is a special uh, project that, has, that, that is a device that helps you to call your keys. Not just that, Trace It is a special device that helps you track your phone and your keys at the same time. How? Your key is connected to your phone via software with the Tracy device. So at any point in time you are looking for your keys, you use your phone to call it. Not just your keys, other items like your luggage when you're coming down from the airport or your wallet. And as anything of value, you attach a Tracy to it, it's secured. Tracy is portable. Tracit is very effective and moreover Tracit has added form to, uh, to, to the features it has by okay, enabling you to take a selfie, you can take a selfie with the Tracit device without touching your phone. Also the Tracit device helps you to um, uh, get alerts, as in before you get separated, it's like a reminder, before you get separated you get a reminder that okay you are leaving your phone behind or you are leaving something of value behind and again another thing Tracy does is that it's uh it's it it's it helps you to know the last location you left an item that is if it alerts you you can't hear you didn't take note note note, note of it by the time you finally take note trace it enables you to get the exact location on the map, on it, on the map of the software, get the exact location where you left that particular item behind. Welcome back. You just joining us. This is BD Swall, and my guest today on the show is Dr. Bayaro Agabi, and we'll be discussing values as Africans. 
Now, doctor will say, no, we'll come back, we'll be taking mm. a look at some of the pictures that have been flying mm. on social media. Now, look at what we have here. They said, so they said, see the latest common madness. He said, Big Brother Africa, three million dollars. Do you understand? They listed it. Mm, yes. Yeah, MTN, all these things, yeah. Naira contract, Glow Niger, Go Out Search, plus the, uh, all these things. They'll give this. you all this money. Yes. They'll make you a, a millionaire overnight yeah. with good car. Mm. And so many good companies mm. are ready. Yes. Ready standing by to endorse you. Yes. Do you understand? You will agree with me. We all watched Big Brother mm. uh, uh, Nigerian. Mm. How a lady did one or two things mm. on national television and people said a lot of things they said. But after the program, she's going about and all the big companies are endorsing her. Yes. Do you understand? And we have a graduating law student, best law mm. student. Do you understand? And they were they have the guts. Doctor, even you and I cannot give that girl ten thousand now. Nah. Look at <laughs> now. Do you understand? You see? After burning can do everything, yes. then I gave her ten thousand. And now some of our comedians, they even came online to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. Now I mean, to me, for me, I think our media agencies have a lot of queries to answer to this. I don't think it's media agencies. Now, you know why I said so? Yes. Now, because as a growing up child, I know I, I watched a lot of educational program mm. on TV. Yeah. And this educational, considering the kind of policy we run, like yes. what you said earlier mm. in our society, you need money to sustain yourself, mm. to keep yourself on air. Yeah. If you're not getting adverts, if you're not getting sponsor, mm. but then before you know it, you goes off. Yeah. But this entertainment program, mm. they bombard them with adverts, sponsor, and endorsement. And that is what we bring to our children. That is what we feed them with. And that, that's the only thing they know. Hey, that is the future of Nigeria, really. But the truth is, you, you really cannot blame the entertainment sector. Because and the media agencies. And the media agencies. You, you, you know why? I'm not because, blaming anybody, because, but I'm just... Because in the, even in the developed world, mm. talents are appreciated. Yeah. You know, um, those who are talented, you can trace how they make their money. You could be talented in singing. You could be talented in dancing. You could also be talented in book. Yeah, you know are you what, I'm, what I'm saying? saying is that we should but diversify. What, uh, but what we are we saying is that. Options. But the issue now yes, is that course, those who are talented intellectually are not appropriately rewarded. Yes. Okay. We but, should have options. We don't have options. Okay. The only option we have mm. is entertainment. Uh, but this is the issue. It's not. It's not a question of option. We have. We have options. We, we we choose to ignore those other options and big on the options that we think pays us as business people. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Okay, We've all heard it from doctor himself, yeah. Dr. Bayaro Agabi. He has said it. You cannot be better than your family. Like yes. most of us say, I'm the best. Mm. You can't be best. Uh, yes. Talk about in a family of seven yes. and you are the only yes, yes, hero there. Yes. No. I'm sorry, there. You're, you not you're not you're a hero. You're just nobody. Yeah. So if you as you're going up, try to carry as many people as you can. Mm. Let's lift as many people as we can. Yeah. One of my mentors said that what makes her happy is putting her hands down to lift people up. How many people have you lifted up as a Nigerian? How many people have you given hope? How many people can say, oh, if not this person, if not this person? We can't do it alone. It's a race that we all are running on. Yeah. Don't think you can run it alone. Like me, be this word. I know I'm not running alone. I'm running with so many wonderful people. More successful like Dr. Bayara Gavi. He's been running with me and I know he's not going to leave me. Well, that's much we'll be taking today on Baby Watch Show. But remember to keep a date with us. Same station, same time next week. Remember our social media handles. And if in case you've missed this interview, you can watch it on our website, www.bdswatch.tv.